Hello, I'm Fran and this is Buster. This video is to show you how to inject your diabetic dog with insulin. First, wash your hands. Collect your dog's insulin from the fridge and gently rock the bottle a few times. Carefully put the needle of the syringe into the rubber top of the insulin bottle and keep them both upright. Draw back the plunger so that you have slightly more units than your pet needs. Buster needs five units, so we've drawn up seven. Leave the syringe in the bottle. Buster is on five units, but remember every dog needs a different dose as prescribed by your vet. Tap the sides of the syringe carefully with your finger so that any bubbles go to the top near the needle. Push the plunger very carefully to get rid of any bubbles from the syringe. Make sure the top of the black part of the plunger lines up with the number of units that your pet needs. So in this case, it's five. If you haven't got quite enough in the syringe, then repeat the process of drawing more into it and getting rid of the air bubbles. Carefully withdraw the syringe from the bottle. If you have someone to help, get them to very gently hold your dog or even just put a hand on them and stroke them. Gently gather the scruff at the back of your dog's neck. Your vet may have clipped an area to show you where it's best to inject. Put the needle in so that the insulin can be injected under the skin. Draw back the plunger before you inject. This may take some practice as holding the syringe properly may feel strange at first. If you see blood in the syringe when you've drawn back, don't worry, but don't push the plunger. It might mean that you've entered a tiny blood vessel. Take the needle and syringe out of your pet and put it into the yellow sharps container. You'll need to start again with a new syringe and needle. If there's no blood when you draw back, press down on the plunger and inject the insulin into your pet. Carefully remove the needle afterwards and pop it into the sharps container. You can gently stroke the area afterwards. After the injection, give your dog something that they love, perhaps a big fuss or a toy. This means that hopefully they'll start to associate the injections with a positive part of their day. Treats aren't appropriate because that can raise their blood sugar, which could be dangerous. When you're familiar with the process, rotate the injection site so that the skin does not become too thick in one area over time. For example, you could inject over the shoulders or the lower back. Always contact your vet if you're struggling to inject your dog. They'll be happy to help you until you're confident doing it yourself at home. It's normal to feel worried about injecting to start off with and I hope this video has helped. 